Hi guys, um, it's Paul Wilson here today. Uh, just talking about a couple of uh, things uh, today that I've discovered with Adobe Captivate 8. Um, for those of you that uh, have been using Captivate for a while, one of the things that has been really difficult in the past has been doing rollover buttons. You know, I have uh, a couple of rollover buttons down here at the bottom. It's real subtle. I don't know if you can see that, but I slightly changed the, the color uh, of the, uh, the image of the buttons. But uh, this is done through images. So I had to do this in Photoshop. I had to create uh, several different versions of those buttons to create those different states. But one of the things I've discovered in Adobe Captivate 8 is that you can now, of course, uh, use a shape object so let's just take um, a square here and I'll just do this on a black background here so we'll just uh, insert the shape object here let's say it's just a button like this and we go into properties um, I just discovered this I've been I've had ca uh, Captivate 8 since uh, literally a few days after it was released and I didn't even notice this before but I noticed uh, playing around with um, you know with the um, with uh, these objects I realized that you can actually have different states so let's first of all turn this shape object into a button now when you do that you get the different states available so let's say my normal state is this gradient effect let's change it let's just do something uh, interesting with it here Let's change it to a solid um, fill and we'll just go with white and make that a hundred percent so that's its natural state. I'm going to just take the, uh, the stroke and make it zero. And now we're going to do the rollover effect. I'm not going to worry about down right now since you very seldom actually see the down state. But I'm going to take the rollover effect and we're going to do something more interesting. Uh, we'll do a gradient fill and in this case here what we'll do is we'll choose white at one end. I'll just, oops, let's just choose white and then I will choose, I like this blue, we'll keep this blue. But what we're going to do is we're going to put in another gradient here and just choose white there so it's just a little bit at the bottom there. So I'm just going to bring this out here and of course um, you know buttons are are all nice and good here but let's put some text on there so next and we'll just resize this a little bit so now I've got that really cool um, gradient effect which is kinda neat so now my buttons have a neat little effect there so I can just when I roll over with the mouse, it just highlights on the bottom there just to change the state a little bit, just to let you know that this is a click to, clickable item. I think this is a great addition to Adobe Captivate 8. I've wanted something like this since uh, probably version 5 when I first thought, you know, wouldn't it be great if I could have an object, turn it into a button, and have all my rollover states there. It really brings your e-learning to life. It's, I know it's a small thing, but really, when you have uh, hundreds of buttons in a course that are, you know, kind of static and boring, this is a great way to bring them alive.